Hi. Today is my darling and Angel's birthday. She would have been 17 today, but sadly she passed away. The whole world lit a candle or burst crackers on the time at the time of her birth. 5.55 p.m. Many people all around the world. My brothers and my sister and everyone did it. It was a great occasion. I hope she's watching us from up there. My heartfelt loving memory will remain within my heart for a very long time. Perhaps until I die. Now that the story behind the story, Manor House Hotel, where we were thrown out by the Muzungus, the English, the white people who made it their home, Manor House was theirs, but it wasn't theirs. It belonged to uh, Ismaili Koja was a very good friend of mine. But because he was told to push us out, he knew the consequences and he pushed us out, but he didn't know what was coming next. All the front of Manor House was glass. Very convenient for us. It was on Prince Charles Road Street, leading towards our flats, only a few hundred yards away. From, from the town to my house is also just a few hundred yards away. So we got out from there. We got a, one of our friends who had a box body uh, van and we went and filled up with stones, lots of stones and we drove in front of the manor house, parked it there and hammered manor house with stones so much. It was very naughty of us, really. We hammered it with stones and all the glass were broken. They called the police, police came, but one of the main person in the police was our, one of my friend. So he came to me and he said, uh, you better go now before this other guys come and arrest you. So we escaped from there. And the next day, Manor House was uh, refurbished with a new window pane and new glasses. And the same night, we bashed it again. <laughs> we really smashed it again. And all the white people in, inside had to take shelter and run away from there. But it never will happen a second time or a third time, I said. Uh, and on the fourth night, we came back there after they had refurbished again, and we went for a drink. The man said, please do come in. Please do come in. Come and have that seat. Have a drink. And the drink is on us. We won't charge you for it. And the English people or white people who were there came and uh, apologized to us. Uh, we were very young, but uh, young is young. But don't play with uh, the Kanayev gang. That's what he said. So they didn't play with us. Then the next one was Copper Kettle. <laughs> we went to Copper Kettle. 
And Kopaket will call the news from Manor House that uh, we were of Kanaya gang. They come there, give them anything what they want, otherwise you'll be smashed up. So we were famous in that and uh, everywhere we went we had free drinks and uh, they, were in, they invited us very nicely. My father came to know about all this and he keep, kept a low profile and he said, don't, don't get it too much in your head, you, you know, you might regret it. So we just left it and Manor House thrived after that. But I believe it got really bankrupt after we left uh, some time back anyway. I'll come to that when it comes to that point when we are leaving Kenya. But on the streets of the Selim Road, where Regal Cinema is, and on uh, Nas, where Nas Cinema was, and uh, the police station is just next to Nas Cinema, and Municipal Council is uh, just after that. They used to sell uh, mayambe, mango, all sliced in small, small. This thing, it looks beautiful. I may have put it in my uh, on the Facebook, but it's great. They put some salt and chili on it. Mwah! It tastes delicious. Then there was something known as Vitoria. Vitoria was just seeds. You chew the seeds and you spit it out. Nothing great. It was sour. But when they put salt and chili on it, mwah, become delicious. <laughs> that was the time we, we spent a lot of, uh, we had a lot of fun eating those things. Mushkaki is another thing. Burnt meat on charcoal fire. It was great to eat. Then one day, uh, when uh, we used to go for picnic quite a lot of times. The whole of uh, Kerala gang used to, uh, used to, my dad used to hire a big van, lorry. We all used to pack up our food and everything and go for picnic in Saisal Estate. And Saisal Estate, there was an old man who had uh, one of his eyes, He it was glass eyes, and he left it in the a glass tumbler. And uh, the Africans, when they come to try and steal some money from him, they used to say, hey, look, look, Machuyake and Ekunda Nyaglasi. His eyes is in the glass, he's watching us. So they never used to rob him. And uh, we used to go to his place, the Saisal Estate, and have a picnic there, spend the whole day there and come back home. It was fun having this type of things in Mombasa. Outside uh, every cinema theaters, Queens, Nas, Moon, uh, and uh, Regal. Regal got burned out by the way. And there was a regal bar as well, where people used to dance and sing and drink and get merry. But in the end, regal got burned out. God knows how. I will tell. Anyway, bye for now. I'm still not in the best of moods. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Be safe. Take care of yourself. This is lockdown time. And don't abuse the system. Take care. Don't be like USA. <laughs> they can't even manage a country. They don't know what they're doing. Okay, cheers. Take care. Bye.